Hey Linux Hacksers, it's Nixie here again on a Monday, a little bit later at night, to challenge your skills at installing Linux on your computer. And I hope to help you do that in under five, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to use the distribution Ubuntu because you know it's my favorite and I don't want to break up the monotony now. So what you do to install Linux on your computer, maybe you want to dual boot, maybe you don't. Go on ubuntu.com and make an image on a CD and from there we will go magically into the computer. We're going to start by typing ubuntu.com into the URL box and then once their page pops up you can see that the latest edition is just available for download. That's Jaunty right there, 9.04 and you hit download. And then you'll want to select whatever operating system pertains to you. So if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit, then you select at the bottom and hit what location is nearest to you so you have the fastest download. And then you'll hit download. And then once you've downloaded the image, you'll want to put it on a CD or a DVD. So I like to use an open source program called Infra Recorder. And then the rest is pretty intuitive, so I'll just let you go through those steps there. A really important thing is you have to make room for Linux, so that's pretty easy. You just start in the Disk Manager, so you go to Control Panel, and then Administrative Tools. And then from there to Computer Management. And normally it will come up with the amount that you can shrink your volume. I've already shrunk it, but I will go through the steps anyway for you guys. And you go to Disk Management. So you want to select the drive that you have Windows installed on, which is typically the C drive, but it can be different for you. And you'll shrink the volume by 20 gigabytes is pretty standard for Linux. And once everything's shrunk, then you'll just restart your computer. And then upon booting with your new CD, the Ubuntu screen will pop up where you select your language. And then just hit Install Ubuntu. So here we are in the Ubuntu installation settings where we will select our language again just in case it changed in the last five minutes. <laughs> and you also want to select where you are in the world as well as some keyboard settings. So then we'll want to click the specified partitions manually and then click forward in the bottom right. Then click on this free space and a new option will show up called New Partition, the bottom left. Now you want to create a logical partition for the swap area, which would be like the page file in Windows. So you want to set this to be twice the size of your RAM. So for my laptop with 1 gig of RAM, I will choose 2 gigs or 2000 megabytes. Then select Swap. Next, we will be creating a logical partition for the root of the operating system. So we will enter 15,000 or 15 gigabytes as the size, and then leave the selection as ext3, and then choose the mount point as forward slash. And last but not least, we will click on free space one more time, set up a logical partition, and then use the maximum amount remaining, leave it as ext3, and then choose the mount point as home. And you're done! Hit the forward button in the bottom right. And then as the icing on the cake, your username, computer name, and password. And voila! Just be sure to opt out of importing any Windows data. Congratulations! I assume if you're still watching this video that you have successfully installed Linux on your computer. And for that, you deserve a great big hug digitally. And if you check back next Monday, you will experience more Linux hacks or quickies with your new, safe, stable, and sexy operating system. Catch you later!